Hi everyone, this is Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein, and together with ChessLecture.com, I'd like to welcome you to today's video. Today I want to show you something really interesting and truly amazing in chess. You have probably heard of Alpha Zero, Google's version of incredible engine that crushed Stockfish. Now Google poured a lot of resources into this engine and you know what this is a completely brand new way of thinking right what all they basically fed is moves uh you know the rules of chess they didn't feed how much each piece is worth or any kind of uh typical things that we are taught right they basically said here are the rules of chess you play it out and it play against itself for you know millions of games and eventually a challenge Talkfish to match, and we all know the result of that. It crushed it. But that was a project that Google did maybe quietly and not didn't share their source, source code with anyone. So long story short, here comes Leela. This is completely free uh, open source project, which uses the same concept as Alpha Zero, except on a much smaller scale on a lower budget and this game that i'm about to present to you starts from the position that we typically see as the binoni so alpha i mean rather leela or lc0 here is black against stockfish 8 and this is just a blitz game but i want to show you how amazing amazing the technology came through that little engine that was unexistent a year ago leela chess is crushing absolutely crushing world's best engine here it's actually stockfish 8 so obviously we know stockfish knight is a little bit stronger but honestly the difference is not that big so the position in front of you is from a common opening called the benoni defense it's actually not very popular for black anymore because black surrenders the center so you see this massive pawn center how we get to this position via many different move orders. You can get it via the King's Indian move order or via D4, Knight F6, C4, C5 move order, followed by D5, and then Black just plays D, G6, Bishop G7, and D6. But it doesn't really matter how we get to this position. What matters is what happens next. Let me share with you how little engine, Leela Chess or LC0, gave a positional lesson to one of the best engines in the world. So Stockfish plays knight f3, castles, bishop d3. All of this is well known that white usually puts the bishop on d3. But bishop g4, very important. Already Leela understands that in this Benoni positions, it's vital for black to trade the bishop for the knight. It might have been more accurate to actually play h3, but little did Stockfish know that how in these positions, each move is absolutely essential if you want to really fight for that opening advantage. But all engines will say white is just better here. White has a big space advantage, and so on and so forth. Well, bishop g4, very important part of black's plan, h3. Of course, all engines love bishop pair, and Stockfish is no exception. Here we have two bishops, extra space. I would guarantee you that if you plug it into your engine, it will also give white an advantage. Yet, look what happens next. E6, very important move. We trade uh, the E pawn for the D pawn to give us a little bit more firepower. So usually after pawn takes, white takes with the C pawn, although E pawn is playable as well, but the advantage here is much, much smaller. So let's go back. So after C takes D5, we have a classic Benoni. Now, the idea in the Benoni is to use the queenside pawn majority, this three against two, to play for a6, b5. Well, you guys may already know that. Later, this knight may go to d7. Also, we can fight for that e5 outpost. And what is white's plan? Well, white obviously tries to prevent black's plan with a4, use the two bishops, and slowly squeeze black. Let's see what happens here. a6, so a4 is more or less forced. By now, both... 